it's it's positive. It, you know, it's it always is. It's a positive atmosphere that boys have created. Um, as I say, we don't we win the games highly confident. Uh, you know, I believe the staff here have got the team really really prepared for any eventuality. And you know, as I say, we go in confident to win games at home. You know, we don't we don't fear anybody at all. And we, no, I think you approach it exactly the same. Like Aberdeen have got a, a very big squad. They've, they've signed you know three players already this week. I believe. Um, so I don't think numbers will be affected. You know, they they've got like for like in every position. So I don't think that'll be a, an issue. Um, it's it's obviously a game they get plenty of days rest in between. So you know it'll just be as it always is. It's a tough game against Aberdeen. You know we have to turn up and produce the, what we've produced in the last six games and match their physicality and their their hard work and and then hopefully the quality shines through. Well, the world's a smaller place now with technology. You know, so we we've access to all the different leagues in the world. You know, so our analyst does his research and provides the boys with all that information. So anybody that is new, if you're playing up against somebody, they get, they get all that data, get all that information. So no stones left unturned. Um, yeah, look, a lot of the players are, are relatively new that they've brought in. Um, some we know well, you know, Jamie McGrath we know well. So um, there won't be anything we're not prepared for. Um, let's say Aberdeen have spent heavily and invested heavily into the squad so um, it's up to us to, to match that and be prepared for a very hard game um, not at this moment in time we would have to you know, do a little bit of wheeling and dealing to, to make that happen in an ideal world we'd, we'd like a, a backup left back or more competition at left back um, and, and maybe one more forward player but at this moment in time no we've, we've got things that we're ready to move on should um, funds become available from, from whatever means no, it should be fine. Alex Wongi's got a, a little cut in his head yesterday, um, but he's a tough boy. Um, I don't think it'll keep him out, but we'll assess that as the week goes.